Thank you so much for watching this online video tutorial. Like, comment, and share, as well as subscribe to our channel at Good Better Best Online Videos for more video content. Hello everybody, I hope that you are well. Today we are going to be discussing sieves. So before we begin, let me just say that the normal laws of exponents still apply. However, we are going to be looking at some more complex um, examples. We are going to be looking at the laws for SIRDs and we are going to be looking at some mixed examples. So let's look at it at law one. Law one says that when I have a to the power m root of n, it's the same thing as a to the power m over n. What does this mean? This means when I need to find the cube root of 8 squared, it's the same thing as saying, well, 8 squared is 64. I need to find the cube root of that, which is 4. Or we can say that we need to find the cube root of 2 to the power 3 squared. Now, 2 to the power 3 to the power 2, you know from laws of exponents that a power to a power, you need to multiply those two powers out. And 3 times 2 is 6. So that will give me 2 to the power 6. And what do we do with that? When we apply this rule, we can say that this is 2 to the power 6 divided by 3, which is 2 to the power 2, and that gives me the same answer of 4. Let's look at our next law. Our next law says that when we have the nth root of a multiplied by the nth root of b, it's the same thing as the nth root of a times b. So if I have the cube root of 3 times the cube root of 9, it's the same thing as saying 3 times 9 is 27, and we can find the cube root of that, which is 3. Law 3 says when I have the nth root of a divided by the nth root of b, it's the same thing as the nth root of a divided by b. So when I have the cube root of 64 divided by the cube root of 8, I can say that it's the same thing as the cube root of 64 divided by 8, which is 8, and the cube root of 8 is 2. Now what I want to look at is the simplification of thirds. So what you see in front of you is the square root of 98. So whatever number they give you, what you want to try and do is try and find a number that is a factor of 98, which is square rootable. So if we look at the factors of 98, we can see that 49 times 2 are factors of, of 98. 49 can be square rooted, 2 cannot. So what we're going to do is we are going to split them up into 2 times 49, which you saw in the previous laws is now the same thing as the square root of 2 times the square root of 49. We take the square root of 49, which is 7, and we are left with the square root of 2 because we cannot square that without a decimal. So when we leave this in third form, our answer would be 7 square root 2. Let's look at a more complex example um, of third simplification. We have the square root of 21 times the square root of 60 times the square root of 35. Now here, if we look at this, look at the factors of 21. Is there anything that can be square rooted in terms of the factors of 20, 21? No. So we are going to try now and find similar factors in the sum. So if we break 21 up, we, we can break it up into 7 times 3, and then 60, we've got 3 times 5 times 4, and then 35 is equal to 7 times 5. So what we're going to do is break it up, square root of 7 times square root of 3 times square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 4, and then times square root of 7, square root of 5. And what we are going to do now is you know that when I say the square root of 7 times the square root of 7, um, we've got square root of 7 times square root of 7. That's the same thing as saying 7 to the power of half times 7 to the power 
a half. You learned that in the rules earlier. And what do we do when we multiply and the bases are the same? We add the exponents. That gives me 7 to the power 1, which is just 7. And this is why you see an answer of 7. Um, the reason you see 2 is because we square rooted the 4 and we got 2. And then we said square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. And that gives you an answer of 210. Let's look at our final example. We have the square root of 18 minus the square root of 8 plus the square root of 50. What you can see here immediately is that we are going to have things that can be square rooted, factors that can be square rooted. And the factors for 18 that we're going to look at is 9 times 2 because 9 can be square rooted. For 8, 4 times 2 because 4 can be square rooted. And then for 50, 25 times 2 because 25 can be square rooted. Again, we break them up. So that's the square root of 9 times the square root of 2 minus the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 25 times the square root of 2 then what we do is actually square root. So that will, the square root of 9 is 3, so that will give me 3 square root 2 minus 2 square root 2 plus 5 square root 2. Now, I want you to, to notice that this is a like term. 3 square root 2, 2 square root 2, 5 square root 2. It says if I was saying 3x minus 2x plus 5x, you treat it exactly the same way. So you are going to say 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 minus 2 is 6, so my answer will be 6 square root 2. I'd like to thank you so much for joining us. Please encourage your friends to watch our channel, share this video with them so that we can all learn together. Keep well and I'll see you next time.